Gedeon Volkov had been a fixer for years, and he was considered the best in his field. There was a reason for that, which few understood, and it was better if they didn't. He was a shifter, and a more leopard. Not only was he a shifter, he was also elite. As far as he knew, there were only two of them in the world, his wife, Mei Ling Chang, and himself. There was always the chance that a rare few might exist, but if so, he'd never caught so much as a hint of a rumor of one. Intellectually, he knew there had to be more. Others had to have come before them. They didn't just appear out of nowhere. Anomalies. Three families in three countries, South Korea, southeastern Russia, and China near the Russian border. There had to be others. Mei Ling and he had discussed it, and even quietly tried to find others like themselves. But if they were out there, they were hiding, just as Gedeon and Mei Ling were. They were faster and stronger than other shifters. Their brains worked at greater speeds. They had been born that way, and because of it, their families had been targeted and destroyed. They had watched everyone they loved be betrayed, tortured, and murdered. Both lived under the threat of a death sentence should anyone discover they still lived. Gedeon had been a loner for years, feared by those who hired him, which kept him alive. He worked mainly for the Bratva, the Russian mob, and they could be quite brutal if one didn't get the job done. He had the reputation of always getting it done. When he'd met Mei Ling, they had joined forces, added another layer of protection. Eventually, they had become more than business partners and were now married. Why do I have the feeling this might be more dangerous than what we've been doing? Mei Ling asked, a hint of laughter in her voice. She taught him fun. He'd never had that before Mei Ling. She'd brought so much to him had become his world in a short time. He knew he couldn't live without her. He wouldn't want to. More importantly, his leopard, slayer, always a killer and difficult to control, would go insane. Some leopards could drive their human male counterparts to become killers. Slayer was one of those alpha leopards. Gedeon had always known there would come a day when he would be forced to suicide to protect those around him. Then came Mei Ling, his lotus blossom. Just when he was certain he couldn't love her more, there was always more.